This will be my last sci-fi movie before I head into Halloween. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're all doing well. I thought I'd do one more sci-fi movie before we head into the month of October. And plus, I just wanted an excuse to go back to the 80s, to be honest. Get it? Back to the 80s? <laughs> I tried. Don't say I don't try. I got requested to react to the 1985 movie, Back to the Future. Here's another one that always slipped my radar. Never saw it. Never had an opportunity to see it. It never aired on TV. And it was always Back to the Future number two that aired on TV. Not the first one. But here I am now, about to embark on a milestone in movies. Here's hoping it's not R-rated though, like Total Recall. <laughs> No, nah, of course it's not R-rated. I honestly don't know what to expect with this movie. But if I had to take a guess, it looks like a very fun adventure type of movie. I do love a good sci-fi movie. So thank you for the request. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this party started. We Back to the future. You won't find a better car at a better price with better service anywhere. Cool. These are some interesting inventions. Uh, your toast is burnt, but I'll have it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pretty sure you're gonna blow up the entire house with that. Are you alright there? Hello? Hello? No? Okay. I'm amazed that the glasses haven't broken. Michael J. Fox. What a cutie he was back then. That reminds me, buddy. You better not hook up to the amplifier. There's a slight possibility of overload. Thank you. Good to know. Did you hear that, Michael? Overload. I think we had a Burger King as well at one stage and then they got rid of it. I don't know, I don't think it was actually named Burger King. I think it was named like um, Burger City or something like that. I can't remember, but we did have something like that at some stage and then they got rid of it, most likely for license reasons. But we do have Hungry Jacks. The dark side of us class <laughs> Damn, busted. You've got a real attitude problem and fly your slacker. Pretty sure you shouldn't be touching them. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. This is the part where you give him a punch. Right on the face. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. First place. Damn, really? He was so good. It's like Doc Yeah, I know, said. I know. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. That's good advice, Marty. <laughs> I was gonna say, aren't you guys seeing one another? Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Lady, quit blocking. I think since they weren't due to- Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Jeez, dude. F*** off. Who are you? Please tell me that's not his son. What are you looking at, butthead? Ugh. Buzz off. It just happens to be my supervisor and I'm a- Okay, good. They're not related. Thank I'm Afraid I'm just not very good at confrontations. Yeah, one of those. I think it's a major embarrassment having an uncle in prison. Loving the fashion here. <laughs> Girls chasing boys. When I was your age, I never chased a boy or called a boy. Times have changed. <laughs> nah, times have not changed. <laughs> it was the night of that terrible thunderstorm, remember, George? George, you there? You there, honey? Hello? Hello? Honey? Honey? Okay, honey. That's okay. I'll just talk to myself. So clearly they're not happy. <laughs> well, she's not anyways. <laughs> what kind of a sleeping position is that? Ew, what is this? Welcome to my latest experiment. This is the big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Gosh, Mr. Christopher Lloyd. So I, I obviously know Christopher Lloyd from The Addams Family, which I want to do a reaction for um, for Halloween. But yeah, I absolutely loved and adored him as Festa. But yeah, I think that's the only thing that I know him from, really. But yeah, he's a great actor. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious Hmm, <laughs> dazzle me, baby. Whoa, what? 
What just happened? Wait, did the car disappear? <laughs> yeah, but where did it go? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. Aww, Einstein? Oh, that dog's cute. <laughs> Congratulations, Einstein. <laughs> time travel, baby. Look out! Ooh. Hey, Einstein. How's the future? I take it it wasn't a very friendly future then. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, I was gonna say, is he all right? He made it. He skipped over that minute to instantly arrive at this moment in time. I'll show you how it works. Hmm, if only. Although, I don't think I would want to meddle with my past or future. This video tells you where you're going, this one tells you where you are, this one tells you where you were. Nah, you lost me. That's too complicated for me. <laughs> Pause when I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink, and when I came to, I had a revelation. <laughs> After having an accident, I had a revelation. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it hit me. Literally. I remember when this was all farmland as far as the eye could see. Oh my god. I just realized where else he's from. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Holy sh! He was in that one as well. I totally forgot about that one. God, that was a great movie as well. Oh, man. Talk about a great movie. Uh, look me up when you get there. Yeah, I will. What a scary notion to think, that you'd have the ability to go into the future, or past. Oh, what? Jeez, man. What enemies do you have? <gasps> oh, what? No! Oh, God. No. Oh, no. That can't be the end of him though, surely, right? He's gonna go back in time to save him, surely. Right, Doc? Oh my God. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. Jeez, man, how many weapons do you have in there? Oh, oh God. He's already gone back in time, hasn't he? Whew, yeah. What is it, Bob? Looks like an airplane. Well, wait. <laughs> right? <laughs> Look. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we come in peace. Oh wait, no, that's Star Trek, isn't it? Hmm. Oh. No, don't shoot him. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, that was his neighborhood. Yeah, nah. It's not a dream, mate. <laughs> this song is so popular, isn't it? It's in Halloween as well. Bum, 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 Mr. Sandman. Mm, no, nope. you're in the past. What'd you do, jump ship? What? What's with the life preserver? <laughs> oh yeah, true. It does look like that, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, because they didn't have fancy watches back then either, did they? Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Oh, hey, Biff. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Oh, that's crazy. He's dad. Due till Monday. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? God. A bully then, a bully now. Oh, it's like the shoes are dying. Oh, 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 God, honestly. Imagine that. Seeing a younger version of your dad. I don't think I would want to. Don't you know if you let people walk over you now, they'll be walking over you for the rest of your life. Pretty much. That's right, he's gonna be mad. Man! Now that's a good idea! <laughs> hey, Dad! George! Hey, you in the bike! Wait, but like, why are you chasing your dad for? Is it a good idea for him to see you? <laughs> oh, God, honestly. Are you one of them drainers? Really? Yeah, okay. How about we stop chasing after your dad? I think that's partially one of the reasons why I wouldn't want to go back into the past. I just don't want to know anything about my dad. Not that I'm saying he would do something like this, but like, you know, it's better that you don't know, right? 
You're my mother. You're my mother. My name is Lorraine. God, how freaky. I don't think I'd be able to handle it. Ooh. Where are my pants? Over there. I've never seen purple underwear before. Okay, that's very freaky. <laughs> Oh my god. Why, why do you keep calling me Calvin? It's written all over your underwear. Uh, <laughs> right, totally. He's a Calvin. <laughs> do you mind if I sit here? Yes. So you're my Uncle Joey. Gotta get used to these bars, kid. Hi. <laughs> Ugh, lady, quit eyeing on him like that. Oh, honey, he's teasing you. Nobody has two television sets. Yeah, that's preposterous. As if. In what day and age? What do you mean you've seen this? It's brand new. Yeah, well, I saw it on rerun. Just shush, Marty. Just shush. Gee, I don't know. And he can sleep in my room. It's time for you to go. Like now. He's a very strange young man. He's an idiot. Comes from upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Lorraine, you ever have a kid who acts that way? I'll disown you. Too late. <coughs> oh. Oh, hey, Doc. Still wacky as ever. <laughs> I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Will he be like, nah, I don't buy it? Surely he wouldn't say that. And that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> that got him. It's truly amazing. A portable television studio. My, my. How far we have come. Plutonium is available in every corner drugstore, but in 1955, it's a little hard to come by. Oh, damn, of course it is. So how are you going to get the power, then? The Bose of Light Needle is going to strike the clock tower precisely 10 4 p.m. for next Saturday night. A bolt of lightning. Yeah, that makes sense. Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. Aw, thanks for naming our title, honey. Back to the future. You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. Yeah, I thought so. That's why I was like, wait, why is he going to his dad? Could have some serious consequences by like him seeing you like that. Sounds good. Oh. It's like, it's like he's been erased. Oh God, it's already having major consequences, right? Mm, I thought so. You interfered with your parents' first meeting. They don't meet, they won't fall in love, they won't get married, and they won't have kids. And if you affect what happens in the past, then obviously it's gonna have a ripple in your future or have major consequences, right? Yeah, I'm starting to think that as well. Is that really your dad? You're a slacker. You wanna be a slacker for the rest of your life? God, he hasn't changed at all. <laughs> It's really a pleasure to meet you. How's your hair? No, not the sun. Oh my god. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in that future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? What do you want? You know. Oh no, not him. Gah. He said, get your meat hooks. Wait, why is he acting so surprised that he's so tall? He's seen this guy before. I'm gonna cut you a break. Today. Right. Like the principal's gonna let him go that easily. Silence, Earthling! My name is Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> he told me that if I didn't take Lorena, that he's not my brain. Dude, are you seriously that gullible? It's like if Cher came into my dreams and she told me to get married. Would I do it? Maybe I would. Chocolate. That was smooth as. I'm George. George McFly. I'm density. <laughs> and you're fly! I thought I told you never to come in here. What, they even stopped the music for these guys? Is that how major they are? How much you want, Beth? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Whoa, Beth. What's that? <laughs> God, your kid has more than you do. Shame on you. I like the adventure type of music it has. It's it's really fun. It's great to listen to. Hmm, <laughs> nice move, man. Love it. <laughs> Here, have some manure. Find out. Please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. You're kidding, it looks amazing. 
Well, that's not good. So, uh, this is my uh, dark. My uncle. Dark. Brown. <laughs> yes, my uncle. He's kind of cute and all, but uh, I think a man should be strong. Damn. <laughs> Is this the sort of scenario where you actually teach your dad how to be a stronger man? Oh, look, you're not going to be picking a fight, Dad. Dad, Dad, Daddy-o. Careful there. Don't blow your cover. Some new specialized weather sensor equipment. Well, got a permit for that? Or a sidewalk. <laughs> no. My animal will stay 10 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. <laughs> there are some things that you just shouldn't know about. I don't worry. Oh my god, really? Oh, for god's sakes. Someone help him. Get your damn hands off. Oh no. Oh god. Come on, man. Have some nerves of steel. Oh, Damn, man. That poor dad. I feel for him. <laughs> yes! Finally! <laughs> Good on you, man. Well done. Are you okay? Oh, thank God. Okay. Good. Yeah, there's your man, honey. There's your man. Oh, the photo hasn't changed yet. Wait, so he's still got to try and make a change? They can't dance. If they can't dance, they can't kiss. If they can't kiss, they can't fall in love and have history. Oh, right, because that's where it all happened, right? Scrap. Fly. Cutting in. Ugh, dude. Go and get your woman. Oh no! Oh my god, he's fading from existence. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, that's it. Grab that woman of yours, man. Yay! <laughs> oh, thank god. There is hope. Alright, this, uh, this is an oldie. It's an oldie where I come from. <laughs> I mean, is this a good thing, what he's doing? He's like altering the future, right? I think this is way too advanced for the man. <laughs> I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, one day. Um, I hope you don't mind, but George asked if he could take me home. Right, right. <laughs> That's fantastic. Marty, will we ever see you again? I guarantee it. So, this is what's like puzzling me a little bit. Isn't it weird for them, the fact that they've seen him in the past and they will have him in the future? Oh God, okay, yeah. My mind is being all puzzled now with how this works. Let's send you back! Let's actually save time! Wait, is that enough time to save him as well from his fate? Because you want to save Doc as well, don't you? I refuse to accept the responsibility! Damn, why not, man? Save yourself. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, watch it, Doc. Damn it, Doc. Why did you have to tear up that letter? I really like the time traveling vehicle. Looks great. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. I can just go back early and warn him. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Oh, for god's sakes, man. Honestly. Oh no. Far out. <laughs> Oh, the damn tree. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God. Is this boy ever gonna be able to go back to the future? <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. Did it work? Holy shit, it worked. He's gone. Woo! Can you imagine if he goes into an alternate future now? <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, that's them, isn't it? The one that attacks the dock. Oh! Oh no! Are you kidding me with this? Again? He's gonna have to go back in time again. I love how it does that time jump effect with the fire. Looks so good. Huh? Wait, what? He's alive? What has he got, like a bulletproof vest? <laughs> Yay! <laughs>
Oh, I kept it. Still though, that's very risky of him to actually go through that moment. Like what if they shot you on the head or something? I don't know. I think someone needs to teach you how to sleep. What the hell is this? Breakfast. Oh my God. Is this an alternate future? Oh my God. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Great. Just wonderful. I wonder what else he's changed. <laughs> Things. See, there's Biff out there watching you right now. <laughs> nice, nice. I think I like this future. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. McFly. Yeah, Biff, what a character. Nice one. Love it. Yeah, this is a good future. Well done. Although, it wasn't for him. We never would have fallen in love. Really? For him? Oh, I guess, yeah. Your first novel. <laughs> <laughs> you put your mind to it. Oh, nice. <laughs> well done, Dad. Oh, isn't that the car that he always wanted? Nice one. Now, is this a bit too good to be true, though? Is that what's going on over here? Something bad is bound to happen? Jeez, he's back already. You've got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, this must be like setting up the second movie, right? And what are you wearing? Wait a minute, what are you doing, Doc? I need fuel. Go ahead, quick, get the car. It fills up with garbage? Both you and Jennifer try out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something's gotta be done by your kids. Ugh, oh, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> now we're going for the kids. <laughs> so we're going Leo Ooh, does it fly? It flies, doesn't it? <laughs> Nice. Love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so good. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Okay, that was so much fun. I really loved it. That was so much fun. I was hoping for an adventure movie and that's definitely what I got. Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox are fantastic over here. They work so well together. Marty and Doc have a great relationship together. I love it. Their chemistry just works so well together. Love Christopher Lloyd as the crazy scientist. Love Marty as, you know, the young teenager. I thought it did a decent job of like going back to the early 50s as well, or mid 50s, I should say. The special effects are great over here. The story is fantastic. I really liked how you kind of show the aspect of, you know, the son teaching the father rather than the father teaching the son on how to become a better person. That was a very interesting outtake on it. I think it has just enough science fiction in it and just enough adventure that like they clash very well together. All in all, it's a very fun movie. Like I'd definitely be up for watching the second one. Also, hats down to Crispin Glover. I, I thought he did a great job as well as the dad. I mean, it's always fun going back in time and you know, altering the past and everything like that. That's always fun to watch and everything. It didn't even occur to me that Robert Zemeckis directed it. Here I am thinking for some reason it was someone else. I don't know. Oh, but like it's a Steven Spielberg production as well though. But yeah, he did a great job with this one as well. God, he does great movies as well. The music was great. I loved it. It was very adventure feels and vibes. I love how it captures a type of, you know, 80s vibe as well. There's a lot of spirit in it. But yeah, I think it does a great job of blending the sci-fi, adventure and comedy aspect to it. It's very well done. I gotta say, there is no way on earth I would want to alter the future or the past in any way. I wouldn't want to go back at all. I just wouldn't. I'd be way too afraid to, you know, alter it in any way. But I love how it's done over here because it's very moralistic as well in a way. I was like, how are they going to pull this off with the mother having the hots for her own son? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> But then, luckily, they pulled it off pretty well in the end. I was like so relieved. <laughs> I'm thinking, wait, is, is she still gonna be falling in love with the sun? <laughs> but no, they did a really good job. Me likey. I'm definitely up for seeing the next one. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this one as well. I hope you liked it. Let me know your thoughts on this movie, what you liked or what you didn't like. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I shall see you all next time. Take care.